Hey guys, it's your girl Amy again. Today's video is gonna be my wish list 2017 or luxury wish list 2017 video. I was tagged by one of you to do it. I forgot who it was. I tried to find the name. I was I was basically tagged on Instagram uh, by one of you to do it. So I went, I am doing it. And just for the record, just to prove that my wishes does change all the time. This is the third time I'm filming this. I'm refilming it because I've revised my wishes so much. I have to refilm it. And also the fact that um, I'm going to Europe soon. Throughout my research of you know planning my itinerary, of course I have to plan luxury shopping. At least I have to try. I know we will be so tight in time, but I will try and with this whole researching thing, I found out new bags that I'm really into and of course the new spring and summer collection is coming out with lots of fashion houses and they're like amazing. And it's like so right up my alley uh, that I have decided to refilm this wishlist video. I'm gonna start off with LV of course because we all love LV and LV was my first love. Uh, but surprisingly with LV, <sighs> I have a wish list, but surprisingly with LV, I don't know if I'm actually gonna get anything in in Europe. Even though I've always thought that on my first trip to Europe or whenever I would go to Europe, I will buy an LV bag or something. But unfortunately, I think I have all the LV bags that I like. I'm not sure if I'll be getting them, but I would still share them. Uh, I am loving this BDB20. I've been really loving my uh, Twice, as you guys know, so um, the Empreinte in the Speedy 20, I think it would be so, so cute. Uh, not sure I'll be getting it though because my wish list on the other fashion houses, like wait for it, is so like out of this world. But anyway, uh, the next bag that I really love from LV is also the Lock Me 2 BB. Uh, I like the Lock Me 2, but it is kind of like in between sizes, uh, so I actually would prefer the BB size. I also love the chain detail. I have two more that I really like from LV. The next one is the Saint-Germain BB. Uh, I've loved the bag for a long time and um, I just never really took the plunge I guess because you know it's kind of like around the time where I was starting to get into Chanel and I knew I wanted a mini bag and of course I found my mini flap so after I got my mini flap I didn't really have the need to get the Saint-Germain BB so that's that, but I do like it. And then uh, the last one that I uh, really, really like from LV is actually another Noe, but it's not the new Neo Noe, it's the Noe GM size. So it's the regular size, the tall Noe in a monogram. I just, if I'm not gonna go for leather bags now, I'm just gonna go with monogram canvas and Vachetta. That's my favorite combination of all times from the Louis Vuitton. Fashion House, I think that's just their most, one of their most iconic and classic looking, even though it's not their original print and all that, I just feel that their Vachetta is so good. I love the patina look so much. And because I had my Pizzinoe in the past and how much I've loved the bag, it's such a beautiful bag and I loved carrying it and the bag was so comfortable. <laughs> Moving on to Chanel, I have quite a few. Um, like I said in my previous videos, in my previous tag videos, I would love to just add any sort of different size flap, classic flap, whatever flap we issue, doesn't matter. Uh, but I would really love to get a rectangle mini for sure because I just love the mini trend. Um, it's not even a trend. I just love the mini bags uh, so much and also Classic flat wise, I would love to get it in the medium large. If I can get probably any of the classic flaps or the reissue flaps second hand, pre-loved in really good condition, I would go for it. As you all know, I recently got the Deauville tote and I love it. It's such a big, beautiful tote. It's so it, it, it kind of goes with the whole logo mania thing. It's like so in your face, the brand and the name, the letters, and it's mine is in orange too. So it's like super flashy and I love that. It's so up my alley. I like to be classic, but I also like trendy. Like, I don't know. I'm just kind of like that. I like classic with an edge. 
so I think that bag is so suitable for me. So of course I was able to scratch that off my wish list, which I was so happy about. Uh, and so other than that, in Chanel, I think I just have like accessories. I would just love to add, I don't know, more brooches, more earrings. Uh, I would love to add a, an old case, uh, the small one. I also wrote down some shoes, but with shoes, that's an issue with me. Usually um, I have very sensitive feet, sensitive joints, and I cannot wear too high or too low or too flat. So that's kind of like difficult for me. I do love, do really, really love the look of the sling, sling back two-tone shoes. Um, I did try it in store. I don't know, maybe I'm in between sizes or whatnot. It just did not quite work out when I went in for the first time, but I don't know, who knows, maybe in a different material or a different um, season, maybe they'll change or whatnot. So I'll keep trying and I'm loving the flats also, the two-tone ones. Uh, I even like just the black on black, but yeah, I, it's not like super hype on my priority list, but it's definitely something that's also on my radar just because I don't have any luxury shoes, but I would love to add and to be able to find luxury shoes that are comfortable and yet stylish. I'm going to move on to like the brands that are really like making my heart so like going crazy. Like I'm just obsessed with these brands lately. Dior. Their Diorama is just like to die for. You guys have seen my vlog. I I love the one that is in the medium size, the metallic champagne gold color with the champagne gold chain and everything. The bag is just perfect. Of course, it reminds us of the boy bag a lot in terms of shape, but other than that, it just stops there because the chain, even though they have they both have chain detail and a strap detail. They're so different. The Diorama is so lightweight compared to the boy and um, the detailing on the leather is so nice. The micro carnage on the metallic one is so, so, so pretty. It's a lot more feminine than the boy bag. I'm not bashing the boy bag, by the way. I still love the boy bag. I think if I could own it or keep my one that I had or even buy a new one, I would. If if that makes sense for me financially and if that makes sense for me like internally if I feel you know okay doing that but I just know I I don't know at this point I'm not there yet so uh, anyway I'm just really loving the Dior you know the more classy feminine side but still edgy uh, look of the Diorama so really really loving that bag I'm not sure if I'll get it again because it is at that price range where it's just kind of quite expensive and there are other things in my wish list that I would rather get first. Uh, another classic bag from Dior that I've been just loving more and more. Like I never thought I would want to get one. At first I just looked at it and, and be like, oh it's nice but not for me. But now I'm gravitating towards it for some reason. I think there is... Um, it's the Lady Dior. <laughs> it's such a classic looking bag that can be edgy at the same time and the, the reason why I say that is because they've added the thick straps and then now there's the version called My Lady Dior which uh, has uh, on the strap it has three little settings where you can customize and put pins on them uh, so those pins are also um, from Dior so you would have to choose from a selection of t the, the new pins that they came up with but I think that's just a great way to personalize your bag. This whole big wide strap on bag trend is so cool. I love it. And I think it's 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 a very functional trend too because let's face it, who doesn't like a bag with a strap on it? I think it it only adds to the bag because it you know, even if you don't use it, you will still want to have it just in case you get tired or you need to be hands-free. I just think it's such a great trend. I think it's a trend that should stay. Um, it's not really a one bag. It's just, just like a series of bags. Basically, their spring summer collection where they came up with the big letters, the Lazio uh, 
bag. I'm gonna just put pictures on because there's no names for those bags. They're just called flat bags. I think you can dress up really fancy but wear that bag and look super edgy and super classic at the same time. I'm loving, loving the trend. I'm really loving them. I wish I could get them. I don't know if I'll get them but um, because they're quite expensive still. And um, but yeah, I just really, really love it. I don't know. I might, I might fall for it if I see it in person. The next bag that is on my radar and it's getting quite high on my list right now just because um, it's Guaya and I'm particularly interested in the Guaya Saint Louis tote. I think the Saint Louis tote just has this um, really careless or carefree or just very casual vibe but yet can still look so classic. That's the thing, it's kind of like up my alley in terms of style and I'm really liking it. Uh, I just want the regular one, I don't want the color ones, I just I just like my black color ones. I, I might even go with the, the tan brown color handle but other than that really I, I just want the black one and the fact that I'm going to Europe kind of made it higher on my priority because there is no Guayang in Canada and um, yeah I guess that's like perfect opportunity for me to get one. Um, the only thing I'm not sure about this bag and if you guys have it and if you guys can just let me know down below in the comments all of your feedback about this bag. I'm just really worried about uh, the wear and tear of the bag because I've been doing a lot of research and reading. Uh, some people swear by them, don't have any issues with wear and tear and some people will have issues with them like right away because there's no Guayal store in, in Canada so like I won't be able to get customer service quite as easily. Basically I read that um, the Guayal Saint Louis bag or their, their canvas uh, which is made of linen and cotton tends to just freeze up and become really really hard in really cold weather so that's not good because I live in Canada <laughs> even though it doesn't get super cold in Vancouver I mean we have we have real winters here so um, yeah that I'm worried about I heard that it tends to crack easily when it gets cold so let me know down below if you guys live in a similar climate than, than us here uh, then I would really really love to know Celine of course I love my Celine trapeze which is like right in front of me that's why I'm looking at it but I also have always been loving the Celine nano luggage uh, I only like the nano size just because it does come with a strap and I think the size is perfect it's a perfect size small bag I haven't taken the plunge yet just because there are so many other things on my list and of course it keeps changing the priorities of the, the items just keep changing but that's definitely still on my radar and I definitely still love the bag um, it's possible that if I can find one in really good pre-love condition I would go for it especially if I can get it in the croc emboss black one last but not least in terms of bags that just got onto my like radar like super alert radar is Loewe I've known about the puzzle bag for a while now. I actually saw it at Nordstrom right around the same time I was shopping for my Celine uh, trapeze. It was also right at the entrance also when I saw it the first time. The the Loewe section was right there and I was just walking by. I wasn't even really like I don't know the brand right so I wasn't even looking at their bags but the sale associate that was standing there greeted me and then she started talking to me and she started like showing me the Loewe bags that was right there and it was the puzzle bag and I was like wow that's really interesting she showed me how you can collapse it how you can wear it and it looks so so cool there's so different there's five different ways to wear that bag and I I love how cool it is and I love how it still look classic somehow if you do a handheld uh, or if you do the clutch it looks so freaking cute and edgy I'm going to Barcelona so um, I definitely want to take a look at the actual Loewe store the standalone store I think it would be amazing uh, so that's back on my radar I'm not sure if I'll get it because the zipper might be something that will annoy me the openings um, unless I go for a medium size I think that would be better but 
yeah a bag to think about but other than the puzzle bag another bag that is even like makes me go crazy about the brand or the bag itself is the hammock bag by Loive. oh my goodness that bag is so 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 freaking gorgeous i know it's probably not everyone's cup of tea but we we're talking about wish lists and that's my wish list so i'm sharing it through with you guys I love it because there is, of course, several ways of wearing it, but it's just so freaking cool. That bag reminds me a little bit of the Lindy from Hermes, and but that's just a little bit because it's totally different. It's a wide open bag. You can close it or zip it up or open it any uh, any way that you want. I love that fact that, that you can do a hand carry. If you choose a small size, it can really look super dressy if you hand carry it. It just looks like, I don't know, just go on Instagram and look at photos of ladies or girls that dress up super classic, but they can pull off, you know, the whole look yet with this trendy looking bag. It's just amazing. Or you can just totally wear it crossbody. I think it looks so cool. I love the concept. I love how supple the leather looks. Oh, so obsessed with this bag. If you guys have the hammock or the puzzle bag, let me down below as well. Like things that you like about it or things that you don't like about it or just are you just totally crazy about it like me? Let me know down below. I just have a few accessories that, um, you know, have always been in my mind. I love the Chloe Susanna boots. I've never tried them. They're too expensive. I don't know if I should pull the trigger. I think it's totally up my alley as well. I want to take the plunge. We'll see. <laughs> I don't know if this is the year. Uh, but there's also um, for shawls, I would love to get a Burberry shawl or even just like a black LV monogram shawl. Hermes. I forgot Hermes. So I don't really have a Birkin or Kelly wish list. I really don't. I seriously will not be getting that bag or those bags anytime soon. Or I don't even know if I will get one just because two crazy price tags but I actually really like their bracelets so I tried on the happy three I tried on the happy two I think I tried on the Kelly bracelet and I also tried on the regular click H I loved all of them I think I wanted like I really wanted to get the click H I I had tried the the midnight blue color or the Biarritz blue uh, with the rose gold and oh my gosh that color combination is to die for because it's not black it's not like I, I like I said I'm trying to move away from just everything black and I love rose gold um, and that combination is just so perfect because it kind of looks black it kind of looks blue depending on the lighting so it's perfect um, but the problem with my wrist is if I move my arm like up and down or whatever I will just turn and it will just be like stuck on like say, so say the bracelet is like this it will just go like this and be stuck on my wrist and that's just not a very flattering look um, for sure I'll be moving my arms around when I move so yeah, I don't know. I, I know some people like it when it's like all the way down, especially the people that have small wrists. I'm fine with that too, but it actually just moved all the way down to like my mid arm. Not sure if I'll be super comfortable with that. And if it doesn't, then it just goes all the way up to, you know, past my wrist onto my hand. And that's not always very comfortable. Like if I'm just letting it loose, my arm, it will just stay right here. And so, I wanted to buy it because the combination is so nice, but I didn't get it. But anyway, I it's still on my wish list just because I don't know if I can find one in really good condition at a really good price. I might just get it anyway. So that's that. I also really like the orange and gold. I love orange. It, it would go so well with my new Deauville bag. Um, so yeah, other than that, I'm really also loving the Kelly bracelet. Um, I think I really just like the edgy look of the double wrapping and also with the huge Kelly lock closure. I just 
I love the look. Um, not really high on my priority list, but it would totally look super cool with what I'm wearing right now, today. So, definitely also on my wish list, but not high at all on my wish list. So that's it for today's video. That's all the things that are on my wish list at the moment. Like I said, it changes all the time, but I still think that it's fun to share. And I would love to know what is on your wish list right now, like your top three items. Let me know down below. I would love to read all of your wish list items and get inspired more. And hopefully I inspired you guys too. And if you, any of you have any of the bags that I mentioned, and would like to give me some feedback. I would love, love, love of that. It would be super helpful in making my choices. So thank you so much for watching. I'm Amy and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.